Okay, hi, so this uh, problem is dealing with immunization. So what are the rules of immunization? That the present value of an asset will equal the present value of the liabilities. Also that the duration, the, the MACDs would also equal to each other. And it depends on whether they explicitly say Reddington or full immunization. But if it's Reddington, then the third um, rule would be that the convexity of an asset would have to be greater than the convexity of the liability. Or if it's full, then that would mean that the liability must be sandwiched in between two assets, which I guess uh, is more uh, representative of this case. So for this one, it says a library consists of 15 annual payments of 35,000. Fifteen annual payments in six point two, right? So basically, we'll do thirty-five thousand minus payments, fifteen number of years, six point two zero value compute present value. So that means that both assets and liabilities must equal this amount. 530.30. Okay. Now the second part is we need to find the you know we want to make sure that the durations are equal to each other, right? So the duration of a five year is always the length of it, right? Times x, which represents the weight of the present value that it will consist of, plus 10 second weight, one minus x the second part of what it would consist of equals um, the duration of liability. What's the duration of liability? Well, we already found the denominator part of it, which is just present value. All you need to find is the numerator part of it. So usually with duration, it, it increases by the payments that it distributes out in each year because you always have to multiply the stream of payments by the time or duration that it occurs at, and then we discount it back. So we're going to do 35,000. So therefore, it just makes it increase by this payment every year. So we're going to make this a level annuity increase of uh, 15 years and 6.2%. So we know that the level annuity formula is an annuity due. So we're going to do 15, 6.2 over here and minus the number of years V to the N number of years again over the uh, whole interest rate. So let's solve this. So we're going to, I convert this to an immediate by multiplying it by 1.062. So let's solve for this. So I'll do negative one as the payment, 15 as the number of years, 6.2 as the interest rate, zero as the future value, compute present value. So it's going to be 9.59. Then we're going to take 9.59. And we're going to multiply it by 1.062. So we're going to get 10.18458. Now we're going to subtract that from this. So I'll subtract it 15 times 1.062 to the negative 15. So the whole thing is going to be 4.1000.9944. I like subtracted both of these and we're going to divide this by 0 0.062 and we're going to get 66.13063613. And then um, 
yeah, we're going to set that amount equal to this equation. But first, let's combine this. 5x, oh, sorry. Once we get 66.130636136, uh, 6, 6, 6, we're going to multiply it back to 35,000. Let's not forget the increase. We're going to get uh, 231.457.2.264. We're going to divide that by the present value of 335. 530.30. That equal to each other, we're going to get 6.89825111. Then we're going to combine this 5x plus 10 minus 10x. So then we're going to get 10 minus 5x equals what I got, 6.89825111. Okay, so I'm going to subtract that 10. I'm sorry, I would write out the whole duration for liabilities, but the decimals are too long. Subtract 10, then we're going to divide that by negative 5 to find x. So then we'll get x as 0 0.62034977. That means that we found X, which would be denoted as the weight of the five-year bond. So we're going to take that value and multiply it by the original present value of uh, 335.530.30. And then we'll end up getting uh, 208,146 and 14 cents. Um, when we look at this this problem, we know that the 120 is went out. We know that's out. We know this is too far. I see that the only answer that's closest to what I got is this one. I honestly tried to be as accurate as possible with the uh, decimal places, all the numbers. I tried to include everything. But it just seems that there are just certain scenarios when you always get an answer. They might just give you a few options that aren't the exact uh, answer, but you're going to have to choose the closest one.